In the area we're standing, the blackberry has kind of grown physically on top of all of the native bushes, the salmonberry, thimbleberry. Eventually it will start shading them out so they're not getting any of the sunlight. It's also competing for nutrients in the soil. Um, if left alone over a few years to a decade, the blackberry will pretty quickly be the only shrub in the entire area. It's bad for birds. Birds need food all through the summer and everything. The blackberry only has its berries pretty late in nesting season. Whereas if this was an area of all thimbleberry, salmonberry, snowberry, things like that, they bury at different times each species. So the birds would have a more consistent food supply throughout their entire nesting season rather than just the tail end of it. Many invasive plants come from gardens. English ivy is a really big example of a garden plant that was and still is planted in people's gardens all the time and often escapes into parks nearby. There's a lot of invasive lilies in Beaver Lake, and we know those were planted in the 1930s. But today, if you go to Beaver Lake, you can hardly see the water. It's all lilies. Um, we quite often get asked where the lake is when people are standing right next to it. For just Stanley Park, we can kind of have goals to remove all the invasives from certain parts of the park. Removing them from the entire park, especially within our small nonprofit scale, is pretty not feasible. Um, but we can work on areas like this, and a lot of the sides of Lost Lagoon used to be a blackberry berm just like this one. And now you can see there's a lot more bush diversity. Blackberries are popping back in, so we come back, dig them out. But it's no, a lot of the lagoon is no longer completely dominated by blackberries. Quite often we go into a question of prioritizing specific areas that are more damaged or maybe more at risk, some sensitive habitats, things like that. Invasive Species Council of Metro Vancouver, Invasive Species Council of BC. They're all good resources that publish materials on what plants are invasive, what aren't, how to identify them. They send out notices for new plants that are found. That's how we know what to look out for. And joining community groups around, like we here at Stanley Park have our own community-based volunteering events, but there's tons of them all around Metro Vancouver and BC where you can get involved and actually do something about it as well.